We continue to follow breaking news on the leeward coast where firefighters are trying to control a huge brush fire. Dallas Hontiveros joins us live in Waianae Valley with the very latest. What can you tell us, Dallas? Good morning, Kelly and Ross. Well, we've been following this story all throughout Wake Up Today and Take Two. And here joining us on Take Two, we have Honolulu Fire Captain Jeffrey Roche, who is also the public information officer. Good morning, Captain. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for joining us here on Take Two. But I want to ask My you, pleasure. we've been following this throughout the entire morning. How mm -hmm. have our teams been doing and what do we know so far about this brush fire? So what we know so far is that it started at around 1.40 in the morning. And uh, we dispatched crews to the area, to the scene, and they immediately had to mitigate the fire end that was approaching homes and residential areas. They did a great job making a stop over there in the Makai direction. And currently, they are trying to prevent the Malka advance and the advance up the ridge. And, you know, this area has a long history of brush fires. Tell us, what makes this so challenging on making sure that this fire is put out when brush fires do happen at this time of year? Well, definitely the dry conditions to begin with is, what gonna, is what's going to kick it off in the beginning. So, but the uh, accessibility definitely gives us, poses a lot of problems and risks and hazards to the personnel who have to traverse unsure footing. They have to watch out for holes and rocks and falling uh, parts of the mountain, falling rocks and things like that. And the definite uh, difficult way we have to get, gain access to the head of the fire is what um, poses the biggest hindrance to mitigating the entire incident. Okay. So at the time right now, at this time, we, are, we have two birds in the air. One of them just finished refueling, so we have Air 1 and Air 3. And we are requesting additional resources. So I believe Department of Forestry and Wildlife is on scene, DOFA. Okay. And they're going to have a bird in the air shortly, if not already. So we'll have three, possibly more, in the next few minutes, hopefully um, throughout the day. And we can, put a, um, we can uh, put a stop to the advance up that ridge and toward the, the Malka range. Okay. And when you say birds in the air, that's another word for helicopters that we're seeing, That's another right? word for helos. Okay. Um, and so we have three helos, two HFD, one Department of Forestry, and hopefully another one shortly thereafter. And um, that will definitely help with the water drops to, in, in conjunction with the, the ground fire attack, try to make headway on the advancement of the firehead. Okay. And I want to ask about this hot spot right in between us right here. Um, mm -hmm. Is that something where crews are at right now, or is that anywhere close, Camp Waianae? I'm um, not sure okay. um, as far as how close it is to Camp Y and I, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm almost certain that crews are there mitigating that. Okay. Um, I can, it kind of looks like it because you don't see it really advancing laterally, so they're definitely um, getting a hit on that. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the accessibility is a little bit easier than something way f um, up the, further up the ridge and um, up the uh, mountainside. So um, at this point, they're going to do their best to make sure it doesn't escape to where the slope increases, because okay. then that's going to allow for the fire to advance a lot more quickly. At the moment, the wind is sort of being our friend and kind of keeping it from advancing as fast as it could. But once it hits a, um, a decent slope, it could pick up speed. OK. All right. Well, thank you so much for breaking all of this down for us, Captain Roche. And of course, if there is any new information, you'll keep us posted later on today. Absolutely. And of course, we'll let you all know about what we know so far and the new details on our website at khun2.com. But you can already read the latest right there. But until then, reporting from the scene, Dallas Navarro's KHN2 News, singing back to you all in the studio.